Where'd he go? Sister, Kaizuki still hasn't come. I'll bet he forgot that I was supposed to go with him to the expo. Oh, no, he'll come. Learn to be a little more patient with him. That's not what you say to me when he comes late on dates. I've heard enough, Hiroshi. Hiroshi! Yes, Father? I need you here a second. Oh, you're all through. Will it really dive or is this model a toy? No, it's a real miniature submarine. But the trouble is, it's too real and goes too far down. It shouldn't dive more than uh, about three feet. I need you to help me so we two can finish it now. Why have a submarine that doesn't dive down far? I can explain. <laughs> Only give me a hand, son. I want you to open the hatch. Okay. This submarine is made for Expo Land. It'll only go down just a little, because it'll just be used for children. So my job is to limit the controls for everyone's safety. Why don't you simply adjust the door so it doesn't close? No one will go down <laughs> there. Not bad. Maybe he'll try it. Why don't you try going to work? Anybody home? <coughs> Kazuki! Hiroshi says you're taking him to Expo. He's been talking about nothing else. <laughs> Forgive me, my car got caught in traffic. How's it going, sir? Okay. See? It looks all ready. Thanks for recommending me. It's been fun doing this kind of thing. Thanks. Not at all. Well, I think we ought to leave now. Okay. See you later. Hiroshi, be good now. I will. Hey, how come you didn't go? I'll go another time. Luwako, I forgot it. Forgot what? Tommy's card, the one he and Susan sent us yesterday. Come on, look again. Oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I thought so. Hiroshi, tell Kaizuki to come back with you when you're all done. I'll have supper ready. Okay. Oh, the top is now set. <laughs> oh. Tommy's father, Dr. Williams, too. That's a great shot. Kaizuki, where is Wester Island? Pacific Ocean, near the equator. Tommy says it's an ancient idol. Hmm. Sure, that's why Expo wants it as an exhibit. It's something special. Tommy's dad went all the way to Wester Island to get it. Why show it to Expo? Has it got any value? <laughs> Haven't I explained that? Just a minute. You'd better learn why Expo was built then. <laughs> This is the expo site. It'll be held from March 15th to September 13th, 1970, at Senri Hills in Osaka. Over 70 countries are participating in it, and we have a chance to learn about their industries and culture and more than 100 specially built pavilions. I feel like I'm in the city of the future. In a way, you are. All the scientific and industrial progress of mankind is shown here. The same knowledge that advanced us into the space age. The theme of the World Exposition is progress and world harmony. That structure there is the basic foundation. You see, it symbolizes the idea Expo shows. Our historical road toward our ultimate goal. Here, look. See how the tree of life rises inside the Tower of the Sun, explaining the story of evolution from simple cells to Homo sapiens. Expo offers everyone a new insight. Mm -hmm. We're also going to display many ancient cultures as well. I see. That's where your archaeology comes in handy. It should. I don't intend to omit any parts of the past here. I feel it can teach us a lot. Look. For instance, take this statue. Its purpose remains a mystery. All right, let's go. The statue is about 33 feet high. That's all I know. Who erected it, what it was constructed for, no one can answer that. Really? Attention, Mr. Sawada. Please return to your office. Mr. Sawada, please return to your office at once. Yes, I know. Oh, yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
Oh, cekat pinggang kau. Yes, Dok kau lah kau. He won't let us move it. But are you sure? Yes. He's an envoy from Wester Island. He just arrived. He says moving the statue will bring on a curse. Hold on, wait a second. Doesn't he know Wester Island gave consent? It's been agreed to. He knows that, but it doesn't seem to mean anything to him. He just goes on telling a lot of stories and ancient sayings about his ancestors and a curse on the statue. Well? You're an archaeological expert. He might trust you. You must get him to see our position in this. Won't you give it a try? Well, all I can do is talk to him. Thank you. Get the slides ready. Yes, sir. All right, turn it on. At our exhibit site here, men are now reviewing data to be later placed inside an airtight capsule for burial at Expo. It's hoped that people will open it in 5,000 years from now and realize the extent of our knowledge. In this way, we can communicate with the future. If only such devices were constructed in the past, we would not regard some ancient cultures with the wonder with which we view them today. If we knew more about the Great Stone Age, many questions would be cleared up, such as the Mule Continent mystery. What are these strange sculptures found on tiny islands in the Pacific? Are they linked with the Mule Continent, an ancient civilization said to have sunk beneath the ocean ages ago? Or is this merely a legend, perhaps grown from an even stranger truth? So far, we've had no other clue to guide us. Then came this discovery on Wester Island, a stone statue the natives call the Devil's Whistle. Is he all right? I think so, sir. What's Jagger? Sorry, I have no idea. Thank you, Mr. Nishida. You may yes, go now. Sir. We're very grateful. It didn't work, did it? My apologies, sir. What do we do now? Go on just like before. We've already started the work there. We can't stop now. Yes, sir. Jiger. Dr. Williams? Yes, this is the captain of the Nankai Maru. Oh, yes. Thank you for your help the other day. Count, have some. Thank you. The roof's are set, sir. The pilots can begin now. All right. Jet propulsion. Roger. Jet propulsion. Switch is on.
good. Take down that scout. Fast. Yes, sir. Notify the ship. Right. Nankai Maru. Prepare for loading. We finished almost an hour ahead of schedule. Tell Hiroshi what you found on Western Island. Okay? Go use the table if you like. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Dad, you better wait a second. That huh? thing could still sink. Wouldn't it be better to test it alone? Miyako, I know what I'm doing. I invented this sub, not you. That's crazy. Gamera doesn't attack people. I don't believe you even saw him. Yes, we did. It's true, Hiroshi. Gamera tried to kill us. I swear to you, I saw it. Oh, I was there, too. It's a lie. Gamera's a friend to all children. He isn't our friend anymore. I hate Gamera. So do I. I trusted you, Hiroshi. Dad says I shouldn't listen to you or your stories now. This is all wrong. How can you say that? Now you had it. Gamera must have had a reason for what he did. Tell me all that happened. Did anything strange go on during this? Here's the mountain. I thought so. What happened to it? It sent out fire, just like a volcano. Hmm. That's not exactly a curse, but still... Hiroshi, suppose anybody heard you. He'd put you down as a boy who'd gone mad. That's right. Now you children still believe in these ancient myths and curses and you're almost grown up. It's not right. Gamera was stopping things because he doesn't know how to talk to us. He tried to help us the only way he knew how. That's it. You know, I'll bet it's about our moving the statue. How about that? You could be right. I'll bet it is. Tommy, you said it's still on the Nakaimaru, but hasn't she docked here now? No, she's due to arrive in Osaka tomorrow. So? That's it, sir. The sub's all ready. All right, we're going to test it. <laughs> Let's go. All right, now. I hope there isn't a curse in all this. What does the word Jagger mean, then?
Come on, you can see it from here. That's the Nan Kaimaru. There's the statue. Hiroshi, let me look at it. Hello there, Doctor. What's wrong, sir? The ship's not answering our radio calls. Oh? There's helicopters, too. It's impossible to contact them. Air control calling Nankai Maru acknowledged. Are you getting this? Please try to communicate. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What about it? Are you all right? They'll all be all right soon. Look out! Look out! Take it easy. Sit down now. Captain! Yes? The choppers are ready. They want to pull up the statue. We can't do it. Loading the statue made all the men sick. Tell them they won't touch it again. Do as I say. Yes, sir. Doctor, tell me what could do this. It's difficult to find any cause at all. I'd say it's sort of like a curse. Doctor, you're not talking very scientifically. The crew were all sick. I know it sounds crazy, yet they believe the statue is the cause of their illness. We don't know, but it's vital to have that statue brought to Osaka today. It's going to the exposition as soon as we can get it off the ship here. You're the only ones who can help us in this. Ah, uh, to expo, eh? Boys, we can't refuse this request. It's a question of honor. Want to do it? Right. We'll go. No statue's going to scare us. We're not afraid of a piece of stone. Well, then let's go. Okay, okay. Right. these people need our help. You can depend on me. It's because I've been sick all my life, so this statue can't do any worse. Huh? <laughs> uh, cool. yeah, thank you. I'll take you to the barge. Let's go. This way. Come on, here. Here we go, boys. Thank you. He'll unload it. These men should teach you a lesson. They're not Thanks a lot, Philip. We really appreciate them. Look, sir! Out there, dead ahead! Sir, it's an unidentified object. It's approaching our ship, sir, at 160 knots. Captain, look! Lieutenant, contact the Maritime Safety Agency. Yes, We're 20 miles south of Archijo Island. Sighted strange monster. Tell them to send us help. It's headed straight toward Osaka. Its speed is decreasing by 20 knots. Get that message through at once. Captain, look! It's going to hit us, sir! Turn starboard! Thank you, Lieutenant. I told you we could do it. No, I got a steal all over it. Okay, you call on those good ladies. They really are. Okay, fine. Like another curse. Was there? You mean you didn't hear it? Not us. Sorry I disturbed you then. Where is Hiroshi? How should I know? He's down at the harbor, I think.
just can't keep on working like this. Let's go. I can't possibly leave right now. There are a lot of people who expect me to finish this thing tonight. Turn on the TV set! Let's go. It's destroying the whole town. The whole town? All Hurry, over the listen. country, everyone seems to be concerned with two basic questions. Why has the strange creature come to Japan? And what action we can take to control him? Stand by. Some people, the state authority, now designate this queer creature by the name Monster X, saying its origins in the Central Pacific. One report uses a mu continent word, Jiga, meaning a devil, a demon straight out of hell, or an ancient curse that surely brings death. What I tell you? I'll bet that statue was a talisman. Please what? That means? Listen. Set. Ages ago, the Mews must have buried the monster and put the statue over it to keep it down. Just a minute now. That monster's stronger than anything I've seen. It could have destroyed that statue in one blow. Why didn't it? The statue must have a secret power we don't know about. And yet... Come on. Why all this silly talk? Arguing about statues at this time. Oh! Oh, no! I just thought! The statue! This thing's trying to get to it. It'll go where the statue is going to now, into the expo site. And as soon as it's there, the creature will follow and then smash the entire thing. That's true. Father, let's get out of here. Get busy. I'll be right in. Right. Yes, sir. Doesn't Gamera know it's here? and how the town looks. All I'd like to see is Gamma right now. Gamma's not coming. Get your things together. He will be here. Hiroshi said he won't. He made it up. I didn't. Be still. No. Stop this. Come and help me. No. Miwako, better let me handle the boy. I'll find his things. He'll be here soon. I know. You mean Gamera? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
out! Look out! Look out! Throw! Larry, go on! Get away! On. Attention! Attention! The city is on full emergency alert! Rampage is still going on. Hold on a second. A report's just been handed to me. It's been found by Dr. Suzuki of the National Science Laboratory that the creature's heat ray has strained possibly able to destroy any type of atomic grouping. It is based on super ultraviolet waves, and it is only one weapon that this monster has brought against us. All right, go on. All right. Susan, I need oh, your help no. in there. Go on. Go on. <laughs> hey, Gamera's here. Gamera, hello. Gamera came just like we said he would. Gamera, we missed you. You shouldn't leave us alone. Let's go, Gamera. Hiroshi! Where are your children going? Let them go, Miwa. Stay here. They'll be all right outside, because Gamera's here now.
up to his face. <gasps> You want that thing out there to murder you? No. Let's go. Hurry. Hiroshi. Camera! You're not dead! Susan? Oh. Come. Let's go home. We want to get a story on this thing. Come on. What about the fairgrounds? You think they're going to be safe? Is there any answers about Blavonsky? Blavonsky. What are they going to say? We want to talk to Dr. Suzuki and we want to talk to Dr. Who's with this job? We've got to get it. So, gentlemen, I turn to you. Hotel rooms and transportation reservations for Expo 70 are being canceled. I don't mean one or two, but thousands. Because of this strange creature. I mean, we can't go on with Expo. How can we expect anyone to come here now? We're doing everything we can. Even our bullets can't stop this monster. Dr. Suzuki, what do you and your people say? We're trying to find a weakness in the creature that can help us. So far, we've made no headway nor reached any conclusion in this area. There seems to be no weapon that can harm it. Nothing we do can affect it. Sir, Dr. Williams is calling for help. What? Yeah. Oh, Calling Command Headquarters at Expo. Come in, please. Calling Command Headquarters at Expo. Come in, please. This is Dr. Williams speaking. Calling Dr. Williams. Uh, Go on. Uh, 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 Take him Dr. Back. Williams, Hurry. what is it? Wait. Come on. He'll be all right. Can you hear it? Hear what? What? That strange sound, Doctor, began coming from the statue about ten minutes ago. Listen. It's quite plain now. I can hear it. We've been examining it since this morning, Dr. Suzuki. My assistant Yamamoto suddenly got sick upon hearing the strange sound. Doctor, are the symptoms the same as that doc worker's? Yes, they are. Exactly. Dr. Suzuki, I intend to cease our efforts here and return as soon as I can. All right, proceed. Stop. The creature, show us where it is. Yes, sir. He's not doing a thing. Must need to rest. That killer. He'll be sorry. Mm. What are you two doing here? Tommy and I didn't mean to sneak in here. Yet we both had to tell you there's a way to control this Monster X. It's something about the problem Dr. Williams has. The sound that caused one of his men there to cry out. You see, we feel the real reason it brings illness is it's poison. It's coated on the statue, and the sound can injure anyone who should then come in contact and touch it. That's how the new continent people long ago could use its force to hold the monster. So he came to us, huh? To spread some ridiculous nonsense all about a poison on a statue that lasts for centuries? Come on, let's go. No, let them be. It's somehow easy for adults to ignore 13 year olds and their conclusions. They lack worldliness. However, we adults too may err. Uh, sadly, unable to become innocent and accept new ideas. What are you saying, Doctor? You really accept what they have told us? I don't know what to believe. The statue has brought what they say it has. The boys ask us only to use caution, examining this thing from every side. It's senseless to go on with this, Doctor. Excuse me, sir. 
It's getting up again. Where's it going? Seems to be heading toward our position. Wait a second. Do you hear the sound of that stone statue? It's coming to Expo to get it. Doctor, you must let me know. The statue. You didn't tell your men to take it inside Expo. No, sir. On the mountain. It's all right. I know nobody's there. We mustn't lose sight of it. Follow me. Oh, no. It's gone. We can't analyze it for poison now at all. What does this mean, Doctor? It was our only chance of winning. We don't have any other. wants to destroy us all. Stop it right now. There's nothing we can do. No one can stop it. Yes, wait. You must try to get Gamera here. Are you serious? Gamera's not dead at all. We just saw that monster stick a needle in his skin. Who can say he's dead? Nobody can. Gamera deserves to have an examination. To make certain, that's all. Doctor, is there any hope? We'll see. In order to determine whether Gamera was dead or alive, a complete examination was ordered. A special helicopter was immediately dispatched with the necessary equipment to take x-rays. All patrol units report at once. You'll all change to emergency tactics 22. Latest intelligence indicates Monster X is moving in an uninhabited area in Osako, so be on guard at all times. There you are. Gamma rays, he was x-rayed. Before we go on, I'd like to ask the noted zoological expert, Dr. Matsui, to take charge. Please, doctor, we're ready for you. As you can see, Gamera's interior, indeed his entire structure, seems like a giant reptile. As to his static condition at present, the probable cause is here. His lung has been infected by this dark shadow. At first, I was of the belief that they were cancer cells. However, it was then that I learned that he'd been pierced by a needle from Monster X between the head and the arm. So I thought again and came to a strange conclusion. Camera couldn't be infected with cancer. Then what could it be he had inside his body? It was something else then, and you'll see what I think it to be in a minute. This film was taken when I was superintendent of an international tropical animal laboratory in Africa. As I studied this case, I recalled a similar one happening there. Larvae had been hatched inside the elephant's trunk. In order to save the animal, it became necessary to operate on it. The larvae filled the nasal passages until the elephant couldn't breathe. To delay surgery could have meant death. As it was, the larvae had reached an advanced stage. Oh, it's not very pretty, are they? I assure you, the operation was a success. You cut it off. Gamera has had an injection similar to the one we've just been looking at. I believe the monster's egg or larva is what is now inside his lung. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Is Gamera's blood being used as nourishment for this strange creature's larva? Is that the reason for this strange chalky coloring he's taken on? What do you think? We think so. At least that's my theory. The only way we can ascertain what that thing in the lung is is by operating as we did in the elephant's of course. case. But that seems a little hard. We're speaking about a creature that we all know as many times bigger than any elephant. Well, that's true. But I know of no other method of getting inside it for observation. Reviving camera was only a notion suggested by two children. I remind you that Monster X is very near the Expo site. And we should use our time on more concrete suggestions. Gentlemen, we must arrive at a solution soon. Time is running out. in an hour they'd be back here. I told you not to spoil Hiroshi as you do. They just got a little delayed. They said they wanted to see Gamera's x-rays, that's all. Then why should I forbid that? 
I'm sure they'll soon be here. Father, Morocco. Don't be angry now. You've got to help us. Uh -huh. Aren't you going to explain what took so long? My father sent us ahead. His car broke down on the road. Huh? He needs help to push it. He says we're too small. Well, we'll do it. Except that uh, the shop closed down early. All the others are home right now. He only needs one man to help push, and Milwaukee can sit behind the wheel. Let's go. Come on. Right. Stay here. Susan, listen. Give this note to Kaizuki. He's at Expo headquarters. Don't forget. All right. What's it say? Oh, the submarine. from behind. Okay. Please don't worry, nothing serious can happen to us once we get inside Gamera. We'll send you a radio message. Tell me, sir, are you sure that thing will go where they want it to go? Sure, absolutely. I designed it. <laughs> oh, you know, I didn't think the boys would actually try to run it. <laughs> Why didn't you keep it locked so the children couldn't take it out? Nobody thought it needed a lock. Yeah, it's very funny. First, my boy said you can't fix your car. Then they got Susan to take a note to our friend here so that they were alone. They made monkeys out of all of us. <laughs> Papa and I are sorry to have made you worry like this. No, I don't think we should be worried about those two. Although they did wrong, both of them displayed more initiative than we did. Oh. Mr. Yosaku. Huh? I think we can try to contact them now. Come in, Hiroshi. Come in, Hiroshi. You there? Hello. Can't you hear us, son? Hiroshi! We're out of Where time. are you? They can't be reached by us because they didn't turn their radio on. I doubt if they will. Oh, no! No! Come in! Hiroshi! Tell me! You must hear us! What a tonsil! It's as tall as a horse! Now, don't brush against it. It'll cause him to sneeze and toss us around in here. I know that. Relax now. It's okay. I'm going to go right under it. Okay. Yeah. Hey, the radio. Don't you think we ought to use it now? Mm. Oh, dear Lord. Please receive my boy Tommy as one of your blessed sheep in heaven. Mama's prayer is asking a lot. She always said I couldn't behave like an angel. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? This is Hiroshi in the mini sub. Can you hear me? Hiroshi, are you all right? Hiroshi, say, look, I'd better get asked to go along with you guys next time. What are you saying? <clears throat> You know, she listen. Can you operate the valves? Did I explain all those gauges and show you how to keep her steady? The compass will show you the direction you're going, not the window. I know, Father. I remember all this from the test. You don't have to worry. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, are you okay? Sure, Mom. It's all going great. Boys, listen. I got an idea. You got to do your part. I want you to look at your transceiver. Turning it over to the controls, you use the blue button. However, on the left is another button, too. Turn that one on. Go on. The other button's on. What's it supposed to do now? You'll see. It's sending out waves. It shows up on our radar screen. When they do, we'll learn exactly where the sub is. We can trace you at any time. You can give us directions. Tommy, they're going to plot our position and then guide us. Smart idea. Well, even an adult has a brain. They can have an idea. Our screen. Show it on the projection. Yes, sir. Doctor, will you give the boys instructions as they go along? Of course. 
Does that show where they are? Yeah. Oh, they're my cameras long. No, look out. They're approaching the stomach. Oh. Oh, wonder if we're going to the long. I don't know. This doesn't look the same. It's scary. Hiroshi, Tommy, we'll turn back at once. You're in a chamber that leads straight to the stomach. Cameron's digestive juices will dissolve the sub in a matter of minutes. You hear that? Hang on. That's it. Go down the windpipe. Stop. Stop. Uh, now turn left. Roger. Good. Perfect. Good going. Turn just a little. Hold it. Uh, Father, take it easy. Hiroshi, there's something I don't understand. Air is supposed to go through the windpipe, isn't it? Then how come Gamera's is filled with water? Don't you remember? Gamera fainted with his head down from the shore, under the level of the sea. Must be air on ahead. Once we know for certain, let's go in on foot. Okay. You are now nearing the lung. In fact, you're almost there. Be careful. Sure, okay. Hiroshi! Hiroshi! Oh! Hiroshi! What's going on? Huh? Talk to me! We're both okay. The sub ran into shallow water, that's all. I'm going to open the hatch. What? Getting out? Yeah. What about your air? Hiroshi, is it all right? There's a funny smell, but there's air. Okay. Tell that to them back at headquarters. We're going to go outside the submarine right now. You both have courage to do what you're doing. Only stay on the alert until you get back inside. You know what I mean? Tommy, are you afraid? No, not at all. Couldn't I have a little ride inside there later? Oh, no, Susan, no. Gee, this is great. Oh, wonderful. Ah, wait a second. That pounding noise. That means Gamera isn't dead. Uh. Let's go. They forgot. They should have taken along the undersea gun. No, Father, stop. Do you know what exactly we're looking for? Anything strange, I guess. Hiroshi, look out. Here it comes. Ah! Uh, the 
Dr. Matsui, Dr. Matsui. Watch it. It's getting on. Stop. He turned it off. These creatures must hate transceivers. Or more likely the noise. Can't you hear the static? It looks like it hurts him, doesn't it? Transceiver made the monster die. You're absolutely sure about that. Oh, yes. yes. But why should it? Dr. Suzuki, do you know why? Yes, I think I can explain it. As we've now learned, in regard to the monster's strange powers, his deadly ray is based on ultra-high frequency waves which it uses to produce heat. Up till now, we've been defenseless. Now we are reminded that this transceiver emits waves just like the creature does but their frequency is lower, opposite to it. Therefore, this characteristic of the transceiver tends to weaken the monster, just as tropical people become weak when they go toward a northern cooler climate. And Eskimos react the same way to a warmer southern climate. Doctor, you said before a weapon. Is it able to stop this monster? Yes, I think it is. Excuse me, Dr. Suzuki. I suppose it was this that killed the offspring. It's possible it's not nearly strong enough to kill the big monster. Suppose it's not. So then we'll put giant speakers around it. A hundred would increase the strength. That's it. You've solved the mystery. Now I know what many things mean. Including how that little statue held that thing underground. Gentlemen, it wasn't poison that did it. A simple device is behind it all. That's why we missed it, Doctor. Meaning? When the ancient people set it down... They built into it a long shaft straight down the middle in which they poured sacrificial blood. To this day, a strong wind can go through it as it did ages ago. It'd make a strange noise. You mean like a whistle? Exactly. Yamamoto and the laborer aboard the cargo ship are reacting to it, that's all. And so now the answer becomes clear. Doctor, we have the means to fight the monster now with the right frequency. And computers can tell us that. Uh, yes. Shall we go to work? Sir, what? The creature's about to come here. It's true. We're about to sound the alarm. Go on, hurry. Yes, sir. We've got to decide right now. All right, Dr. Suzuki. If you can build your sound system right away. Guard, get your men. Yes, sir. Please, wait. Isn't anybody going to help Gamera get well again, sir? He can't just lie there. You're talking nonsense again. We can't do anything. Yes, we can. The larva is gone, yet the patient is still unconscious. If we could only transmit enough energy, we could see how he responds and judge then. Yes, but how do you get that much energy? What about electric current? It's a way. 
In order to get the best results, it ought to be transmitted by a line straight to his heart. Okay, Tommy and I will make sure Gamera gets the line. And until we do, Director, please see that Monster X doesn't get away. <laughs> <laughs> Racing with time, the work on Gamera began. While this was going on, low-frequency waves were being used on the sleeping monster. Hello, Command. Hello, Command. This is Detail A. The speakers have all been put up. We're pulling out. Now, over. Ready? You? You? Speaker's ready, sir. Thank you. All ready, Doctor. Shall I begin? Yes, go on. <gasps> More volume! Better make it even louder! We did just as you said, sir. Very good. Uh, hurry, contact the power plant. Good work, Hiroshi. Thank you, too, Tommy. Switch on the power. All right. Start the generators. How much of that power is needed to get the heart going and Gamera on his feet again? Well, I'd say he's 200 feet long and weighs around 80 tons. It could take uh, at least 7 million kilowatts just to get him awake. Doctor, isn't 7 million a whole day supply for Osaka City? That's right. That's why we're cutting off Osaka's power supply temporarily. No electricity at all? Ah, he's beginning to feel it. Oh. You've got to live again. Gamera, keep trying. I don't boy, Gamera. Excuse you me. You can do it. This is Dr. Matsui. Raise the voltage higher. Tell him we can't raise it anymore. I'm sorry, Doctor. The current's up to the limit. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Right it's gone off. What's wrong here? There's been a blowout somewhere. Somebody exceeded the maximum power. It's true, sir. Hurry, repair the brake. Be quick. Ready for an attack, yes, sir? It's useless. Yes, I know. Don't give up, Gamera. You'll be all right. Gamera! They say that the monster has escaped us. What? But Gamera's just revived. We can do it, Doctor. Gamera, keep going. Gamera, the monster, you can beat it now. Gamera! Everyone 
Come on. Back to Expo. Let's go. Hey. Hurry. Underestimate him. Just trust him. That's all. He knows what's important to us. You think he does? Oh, sure. Okay. Me? Get him around. Don't be scared. Go on. his eardrums.
to us now. What are you going to do? It's coming here. We'll do our best, sir. Don't worry. You must stop it. Getting closer. He wants to kill us all. Gamers, where are you? Oh, He knows about the sound. Mm. This has got to work or else that's it. to his mysteries now. It was meant to remain out there on the island. And Gamera will help us by returning it home. I doubt that. <laughs> True. You don't have to worry. He's never betrayed mankind. He killed Monster X, didn't he? And without him, Expo would have closed. Hmm. Gamera, you did it all. Gamera, thank you a lot. You're our friend, Gamera. And so Expo 70 opened on schedule. People learn many things from it, but we were taught a lesson of our own from Gamma, that we adults must never lose a child's ability to imagine, and to hope, and to have faith. Gamma! Stay well! Return again! Goodbye, Gamma! <laughs> <laughs> 